So, Adwaji, there's a there's a demonstration currently ongoing in Kumasi. Uh, former customers, disgruntled customers of Men's Gold, uh, who have hit the streets demanding their monies. Yeah, the Bank of Ghana is aware of this. Uh, what is happening? Wait, I have no idea what's happening. I'm mm. sorry. Uh, Bank of Ghana has been very clear uh, for a long while about the fact that this was an unlicensed operation. We were not responsible for it. We tried. We warned the public uh, at different points in time. We told everybody if they continue to keep their money there, they did that at their own risk. And that's all I can say about it. But it's still within the powers of the bank to move in and close an institution that is holding itself as a financial institution and is not regulated, is it not? Well, we, we had started the process of uh, consultation, close consultation with other stakeholders which we had wanted to work with. Uh, you don't just get up and close an institution. You need to understand what's there. What are they holding? Who's deposits? What, in what amounts? How are they invested? If you close them, where can you find it? So people mm -hmm. can get. And so that process, it takes, while, it takes a while. And with, with Men's School, we had no, no visibility at all in terms of what was going on there. So it was a process to unravel the mystery behind it and, and then at some point to act. But we were working in close consultation with other agencies. And of, of course, it was um, closed down by the action of one of our sister regulators. And um, so that's what it is. But we had warned the public that they were at risk. So now the public is on their own? As far as we're concerned, we had issued enough warning. And I think that we had done our work. We're being told that on humanitarian grounds as well, we should consider um, the, the amount of money is lodged. We, we don't even know this. how much money you're talking about. We have zero visibility on that. And we, have, we, we did our work by consistently advising the public. You are being called so. um, insensitive. And not you, I mean government. is being called insensitive, well, wicked I, as a result. I, I speak for the Bank of Ghana. Mm -hmm. so I, well, this is part of government. Uh, it's part of the it's, state. It's a state institution. Yes. And uh, I have told you what we did about it. So. Mrs. Elsie Adwawaji is was our guest this morning. It's 26 minutes to the top of the hour here on the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7 FM. We are done, but she has a few final words to say. Thank you, Daniel. Um, it's been a great um, time with you. I hope that all of your questions are answered and the questions on the minds of your listeners have been clarified. But I just want to add by saying that at this point in time, we have 23 strong banks. We have come a long way. It's been a painful 22 months or so. Uh, and we can say, we can all say that we have achieved, you know, the objectives for which we set out to clean up the banking sector. Going forward, we're rebuilding the industry with stronger regulation, with stronger supervision. On our part, we're reforming our systems, our processes, and our people uh, to ensure that we can be more effective supervisors. We're putting in place uh, safeguards like a deposit insurance scheme so that from the third quarter of this year, your deposits are all protected without risk to, without a risk to the taxpayer if a bank were to fail. And I must add that um, one of the things that we're doing as well together with other regulators in the financial system, okay. and, and this is through the, the, uh, the wisdom of the president, His Excellency the President of Ghana, is that we're, we're now part of what, what is called the Financial Stability Council, which has just been recently established. Mm -hmm. And the objective of this council is that the Bank of Ghana, the NIC, the NPRA, the SEC, should not only be concerned about the segment of the financial system. While each of us should regulate and supervise these uh, subsectors very well, we also need to work together and think through what we call systemic issues, issues that affect all of these subsectors, so mm -hmm. that together we can all build a resilient financial system. And we're very happy to be part of this initiative. Okay. Uh, we're encouraging all depositors to be reassured that their deposits are safe in these banks. The two banks that were closed on Friday um, have their deposits transferred already to CVG over this long weekend, this past long weekend. Mm. All the accounts were, oh, really? were migrated to CVG. Really? And as of 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. this afternoon, depositors of Heritage Bank and Premium Bank um, can access their deposits through CVG at any CBG branch. What, what about the merged institutions, the institutions that are merging? They, what is their status? They, they still, the customers will still continue to access the accounts at their 
banks. Okay. It takes a few months for all of the integration to happen. So we're monitoring all of those. By which well. time are you expecting that um, the integration, you know, software and all of that? Well, we think happen. in the next couple of months or so, right? For for so GN, March. For, for GN Bank, because it's a little bit more uh, complex in terms of uh, exiting from some of the lines of business, mm -hmm. which a savings and loans cannot mm -hmm. operate in, we've given them up to June. Okay. Right. Uh, but for the two banks, uh, the two banks whose licenses were pulled on Friday, Heritage Bank and Premium Bank, uh, their customers can, as of 2 p.m. today, access the deposits from any of the CBG branches around the country. Now, Not these, just the branches that they used to bank with. They've, they've been migrated into nice. uh, you know, just to make the process a little bit more okay. uh, streamlined. And, and these deposits are safe. And so they need not rush to go get their money. If mm -hmm. they need them, of course, it will be available uh, mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. okay? So on that note, I just want to again wish your listeners a very happy mm -hmm. and outstanding 2019. And uh, we count on everybody's the support. The reigning here is super, super. Super, super, super good 2019. Mm -hmm. And we count on the on the support of all stakeholders as we together build a more resilient financial system. Yes. And, and just because I've, I've been asked this question so many times, personally, no intervention from the Bank of Ghana on men's gold. You're quite persistent, aren't you? <laughs> no, it, it, I'm being just as persistent as people we, have we been We don't even me. have the power to intervene. We, I mean, we, we don't, we didn't regulate it. There's no way we're going to give it anything. We, we don't have anything to do with men's gold, unfortunately. Okay. Unfortunately. So no intervention. Nothing.